a tutorial on how to replace the hub bearing and important points during installation. We recommend to use a new nut, cotter pin, and snap ring when touching the wheel hub area. There are hub bearings of first, second, and third generations. This tutorial shows how to replace a first generation bearing. Let's get started with removing the knuckle from the car. If you don't have any impact wrench, loosen the drive shaft lock nut before lifting the car. Remove the wheel cap and remove the wheel. Remove the brake caliper. Hang the removed caliper from the car by using a hook or something similar. Remove the front disc rotor. If it's hard to remove the rotor, screw a bolt into the exposed threaded hole on the disc and remove the rotor. Remove the drive shaft lock nut. Unstake the staked part of the lock nut by using a screwdriver or something similar and loosen the lock nut by using an impact wrench. To remove the knuckle, the drive shaft must first be loosened. Tighten the loosened nut temporarily and hammer the shaft to pull it out. Remove the speed sensor. Remove the ball joint at the tie rod end. The ball joint at the tie rod end is secured to the knuckle very tightly. Use a dedicated tool and hammer it from above with care not to damage the bolt threads. If you don't have a dedicated tool as shown, do not hammer the ball joint directly, but hammer the end of the knuckle mounting arm lightly to loosen and remove the ball joint. Loosen and remove the bolts which fasten the knuckle and the lower suspension arm. The knuckle can now be removed. Let's move on to removing the bearing from the knuckle. Insert a crowbar or something similar into the gap to avoid deforming the dust cover when removing the front axle hub. Keep the knuckle horizontal on a support Put the dedicated tool on the end face of the hub and remove the hub. Remove the snap ring from the knuckle. Remove the dust cover. To remove the inner ring from the front axle hub, insert the separator into the gap between the edge of the inner ring and the hub. It's important to set the separator in the proper position. Insert it here. Pull out the inner ring. Pull the bearing out of the knuckle. Reattach this part of the removed inner ring into the bearing. Set the knuckle on a hydraulic press so that the bearing is horizontal. By using the dedicated tool, press the inner ring to remove the bearing.
clean the removed parts with a parts cleaner. Let's move on to explaining how to mount a new bearing into the knuckle. Press a new bearing into the knuckle. Use the dedicated tool that comes in contact with only the end face of the outer ring. Never press the inner ring. Pressing the inner ring could cause damage to the bearing. So, never press the inner ring. It's important to keep the bearing horizontal and press it vertically into the knuckle. Make sure that the bearing is not inclined and press it to the specified position. Attach a new snap ring. Attach the dust cover to the knuckle. Keep the front axle hub horizontal. By using the dedicated tool, push on the end face of the inner ring to press the bearing vertically into the knuckle. Let's move on to mounting the knuckle to the car. Tighten the knuckle mounting bolts to the torque value specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Attach the speed sensor. Attach the ball joint at the tie rod end. Tighten the nut to the specified torque value. Attach the cotter pin. Be sure to use a new one. Mount the drive shaft. Tighten the nut temporarily. Be sure to use a new one. Mount the front disc rotor and the brake caliper. Mount the tire and lower the car. Tighten to the specified torque value by the vehicle manufacturer the temporarily tightened drive shaft lock nut. Stake the nut into the groove of the shaft. Now the replacing of the hub bearing is completed. Did you understand how to replace the hub bearing? Replace the hub bearing as instructed in this tutorial.